Hi everybody, I'm G. Iron and this is my series on the most asked questions I get whenever I'm tutoring somebody in a science or math course. So today we are only going to be talking about meiosis or meiosis, which is the reproduction or the replication of reproductive cells, sex cells. So we're talking sperm and eggs here, all right? And we're only going to be really using humans as an example, so regular 46 chromosomes. So simply put, meiosis is the creation of sperm and eggs. Very simply put. So there are two identical, almost identical steps and series within meiosis. You should already know about mitosis. It's something that you should learn about before meiosis. So if you don't already, I do have a mitosis tutorial that you should listen to and look up and review before you dive into this one. So meiosis is you take a sex cell that has 46 chromosomes because humans regularly have 46 chromosomes. Within those 46 chromosomes, you have to replicate them. So you replicate them, which means that now we have 92 chromosomes, which is not really normal. However, our whole end goal is to have four cells with that are haploid. So that means have half the normal genetic material that a normal cell would have. So four cells with 23 chromosomes each instead of two cells with 46 chromosomes each. So when you replicate this material, then you are now going to create those four cells. Now the DNA that's being replicated here is a combination of your parents. So for example, within my body, I have let's say, half the genetic material of my mom and half the ma genetic material of my dad. During meiosis, I have now that 100% of genetic material, I replicate it and form it into chromosomes, 96, or excuse me, 92 chromosomes to be exact. So those 92 chromosomes now line up one next to the other. Now those chromosomes, when they line up, this is all during the first part of meiosis, meiosis one, which is a little bit similar to the mechanics of mitosis, but not exactly because instead of having a chromosome, 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 chromosome on the equatorial plane, then we have chromosomes, chromosomes, chromosomes. Now the chromosomes that line up, line up next to each other are the mommies and daddies. Now those mommies and daddies will do something called crossing over. Crossing over is when I take genetic material and switch places with it. So for example, if I'm on, let's say, chromosome 12, and chromosome 12, I take out a chunk of mom's DNA and add a chunk of dad's DNA, then that means that I now have a kind of mixed and weird combination of genetic material, but it's all the same. The alleles are exactly what they need to be. The exact gene loci are exactly where they need to be. It's just the actual traits. So for example, I got my dad's nose instead of my mom's nose, so that's because a chunk of DNA switched places with my mom and dad, and I happened to grab that chunk instead of the, the other egg, did, simply put. So that's metaphase one when those are all lined up together. Eventually you go through anaphase and telophase which splits those up. Now when you split up into those two first sets of daughter cells, then that means I now have 46 chromosomes and 46 chromosomes. Theoretically that would be great, except we are only talking about the creation of sperm and eggs. So if I have a 46 chromosome egg, then when that lines up with a regular old sperm, I'm gonna have a weird number of chromosomes and that means that human ain't gonna live and it's just not gonna happen. So I need to divide that again. Now meiosis 2 is exactly like mitosis. So you line up on the equatorial plane, you pull apart those single chromatid sisters, so you get a chromatid here, chromatid here, and you line that up. So at the end of meiosis 2, again which is exactly like regular mitosis, the steps are, but we're still talking about meiosis, then you end up with four daughter cells that are haploid, 23 chromosomes, 23, 23, 23. So that means that you end up with either four sperm or you end up with one egg and then with three Golgi bodies that don't really matter. Okay? All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Please check out my website, gironscience.com. That's g-iron. And 
check out my other videos on YouTube. If you have a question, feedback, anything like that, please let me know. I try to get to every single person's questions, especially if you would like tutoring or anything like that. All right, thank you so much. God bless you and have a great day.